Hey there, YouTube. What's going on? You're going to have to bear with us. We're both a bit tipsy right now and very lappy, and she's been messing with me for a while. But I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was absolutely awesome. I tweeted this out if any of you are following me on Twitter, which there's really no reason for you following me on Twitter, so I don't really do much of anything on Twitter. But I learned a lot, well, not really a lot, but I've correlated things in my ancient family history. Quiet, you. Using this game. I learned a lot, but not a lot. But kind of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's what I learned. Kind of... Where you learned? What I've learned. Okay. Now, to do this, we're going to have to scroll in to Scotland. Here is Scotland. The year is currently 1066. And we're going to look at Argyle. Argyle is a county or earldom in Crusader Kings. It's not 100% accurate because they had to make it where you could play a video game with it, but it's pretty close, so we'll, we'll say sure, why not. But you see this little thing right here. This little thing right here is Isla. It's an island. It's also very distorted looking. That's not actually what it looks like, but it looks kind of like that. Actually, it looks like Isla and the island of Jura put together. And there should be a really itty bitty strait here. In fact, you could you could probably swim across it during the summer months, mind you. But it's it's not very big strait. So this is Isla and Jura. Isla is where my ancestors came from, kind of sort of. They have, they came from all over the uh, Hebrides. Hebrides. Yes, I pronounced it right that time. Horrible with pronunciation. Now with this area, we're gonna go independent realms. The Duchy of the Isles right now has uh, Croven, family Croven, and this is uh, Duke Gudrod the First of the Isles. Now, he was, if I remember correctly, because I just looked all this stuff up and I am quite drunk, he was uh, Irish, Scottish, Norwegianish, or Norwegian Scandinavianish, all those different things put together ish. In that area, because since like around 800, 900, all these islands over here, the islands of Scotland, they were Scandinavian owned, more or less. All right. I wonder if that'll show up. We never know. Abby Normal One is playing Civ 5. So let us go forward in time. 1076, 1086, doo -doo. and now. It's Duke Lagman of the Isles, under my liege, the King of Norway. Again, the Isles were very much uh, Scandinavian, quote unquote, owned at the time. All right, so then we keep going forward. I don't, I don't want that. I want like go counts or dukes. We'll go dukes. Do, 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 still House Croven. Duke Ragnall the First of the Isles. Now this, you notice something changed. It went from being Croven to Somerly. I, that's probably horribly pronounced. Som Verily or some something. I don't know. Som Herley. And I'm just gonna say it that way. Again, I'm not a person that speaks this language, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, this right here is one of the progenitors. Clan MacDonald. Now, Clan MacDonald didn't start with him, otherwise it'd be Clan McRagnall. But this site right here was one of the first of what is uh, of the uh, people that became Clan MacDonald of House Summarily. So if we keep going forward in time, Duke Donald the First of the Isles. Again, House Samaria, this is the uh, Ragnall's son. And this is where McDonald comes from, is this guy right here. Well, not really him, because it would have to be his son, because that's what McDonald stands for, son of. So here we have Duke Angus of the Isles, king of Norway. And this right here is Angus McDonald. And look, king of Scotland. What had happened... Somewhere around here, 1265-ish, Scotland and Norway 
got into a fight. Scotland won. And uh, Duke Angus MacDonald managed to retain hold of his Lord of the Isles by pledging allegiance to King of Scotland. And I, I would never have known that, except I was like, I wonder what this thing has to say about the McDonald's, which is my family. <laughs> and I found it out because I was looking through this, going through the timeline, and looking up names and stuff as I was going. So this game helped me learn my family history. And I'm not saying I'm, like, you know, related to him, but my Scottish clan is Clan McDonald. So, yeah. Okay, that's really all I wanted to say. YouTube, you take it easy.